How many times have we seen this thing? Well, this time it's the last one. Hey everybody, this is the Drunk Panda, and you are my Drunk Panda Try. Welcoming you back, and I'm welcoming you back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Uh, today is the final recording day for Majora's Mask. And I have to admit, it was a lot of fun playing this game. But, uh, I'm getting off topic here. Anyway, today, last episode, we did the sh we did one of the shortest trade quests ever, and effed up on getting a piece of heart again. And in this episode, we're going to be doing the longest side quest ever. No joke. Ah, first things first. If you really want to, to hurry this up, then you have to use the Deku Flower to get into the Stockpot Inn. The top door is never, ever, ever closed. So, we just enter the door, and we're in the Stockpot Inn. Now, I bet you're wondering why I have the All Night Mask out. Well, the answer is very simple. Grandma story. Yes, we have to listen to her. Oh, Tortoise, did you finish helping Father? Then let Mother read you a story. Now, which story would you like to hear? Uh, let's go for the Carnival of Time. The Carnival of Time, is it? The Carnival is almost here, so it's good for you to be learn its meaning. It's a little long, but I'll read with more gusto. The Carnival of Time. Each year, the season of harmony, blah, 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 blah. Paying homage to the way that both nature and time are, blah, blah. I can't freaking read it. So I, I read this way too fast. Uh, basically, it's telling how the story of the... The Carnival of Time came to be. Um, basically, it is an homage to the to the four gods that protect this world. And every year, every year they go to the to the top of the clock tower to sing uh, praises to the to the gods and everything. All the festivities for the Carnival of Time are held so that we may ask the gods for a abundant harvest. Yeah, I guess you did a good job. That's all for tortoises. Now, what does the clock tower roof open on? The eve of the Carnival. You did a good job remembering. That's the boy I'm proud of. I'll give you some candy as a prize. And she gives you a piece of heart. Alright, now you can keep talking to, to Andrew's grandmother. And uh, you can warp all the way to 2 o'clock. Which is uh, when we need to go and talk to Andrew and the postman here. Unfortunately, I couldn't get to the postman in time. So we'll just talk to Andrew. Get our reservation key again. And, uh, maybe we should ask her about this cafe guy. I mean, she does live near the, the mayor's house. Maybe she knows something about cafe. So, let's take out our cafe mask. And, question her. You're also looking for cafe? I have a request. Cafe, I have a clue that will help you. It's 9 to 11 30. Please come to the to the kitchen. We'll talk there. Alright, so let us uh, follow this postman and get what we need. Uh, talk to him. Currently on the job if I stop to talk to you will disrupt my schedule. Postman, whose priority is delivery, was added to your notebook. I, I should have I should have done this pre like current commentary. As you can see, we don't have everybody yet. And we don't have everybody happy yet, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just focusing on Anju, uh, the postman, and this cafe character that we have not met yet. Uh, yeah. So the one thing that you're gonna need to do is is return time to normal. At least I think so. Yep. You want to return time to normal. Because while while it's nighttime, you can't use Andrew's grandmother to uh, to uh, go to to speed up time. Plus, we want to talk to this guy before night of the first day. Uh, that's what I've been messing up so badly, trying to get into the post office on the night on the nights of the second and third day. Um, I think. Anyway, um. Let's go follow this guy back to the post office. And then, when he goes in, we follow after him. And... He's doing something on the bed. Four, five, six... What?! 
are those ears? Oh, they're fake. You stole me. Don't disrupt my training. In my mind, I am running for exactly 10 seconds without looking at the clock. I was in the middle of mental training. You may make fun of me, but this is quite difficult. Will you try? Yep. Press A to start. Count 10 seconds, and then precise moment when you think you've hit 10 on the dot, press A again. Well, while you're wearing the bunny hood, he will be distracted by the ears, and you can keep looking at the clock. And basically, when 10 comes around, you hit A, and you get the exact moment. That is amazing. You have reflexes suitable for a postman. As thanks for showing me something impressive, I give you this. And he gives you a piece of heart. We have some of the new heart container. We only have three left. Uh, too bad we don't get them. Because, again, I am not 100%ing this. So, while we were waiting for Anju in the kitchen, I decided to give Link a few concussions. I don't know why I did. I was just very, very, very bored. Because this takes forever. Even with time going normal speed. But you can hear her coming down the stairs now. And she said to meet at 11.30. She won't even make it on time. I mean... Uh, seriously. It's 11.30 now. And she's still not here. She's still walking towards the kitchen. Ay, ay, ay. What is taking her so long? Uh, let's do a little bit of something to keep us occupied. Uh, hey, Andrew, you want to dance? You want to dance? Come on, dance with me. Dance with me. Oh, you're getting a bit too close. Uh, I'm back up. I am sorry to, to, to trouble you this late at night. I received a letter from him. Strange, isn't it? Getting a letter from a missing person? But there's absolutely no mistaking it's from him. It's clear to me. Please, here is my letter. Please put this in a post box. When this is delivered, when he receives my letter, you should you should be able to meet him. Please, after you've seen him, tell me how he looks. I'm scared. I, I can't go. Can I ask this of you? Thank you very much. And we're given the letter to Cafe. You made an important promise. This was added to your notebook. Please mail it immediately in the morning. And I know that my audio seems a bit off uh, Bloodwinged Angel. That is because I'm doing post-commentary again. Anyway, we could give the letter to this guy, but we already have the heart piece, and besides, that would just be cruel. So, we're going to go and deliver that letter to the mail to the mailbox, and let's get our letter out. And I make a mistake here. I know I do. Where is it? I walk up to the mailbox, and I don't talk to it before I show the letter. That figures. All right, you have to talk to the mailbox before you can give it the letter. Your letter has been received. Kaching. It shall be delivered tomorrow. Kaching. You sent the letter. This was added to your notebook. All right. So now that that's all done and taken care of, I'm gonna run around the square a bit. <laughs> breaking boxes. <laughs> Yay! We're breaking boxes. Oh, no more boxes to break. Let's talk to this guy. Stop right there. <laughs> Well, he speaks gibberish. Uh, this is a good time to ex to, to just uh, be a little silly, but I don't know why I decided to do this for so long. I don't even know why I decided to keep this in. Oh, uh, man. This is very boring to watch, even after having done it myself. Uh, maybe I'm just trying to keep Tattle from getting into my hat. Anyway. Anyway, now is a good time to travel forward to the dawn of the second day, because you're, it's going to be the next day when you finally can meet Cafe. Anyway, now here we are in the laundry pool. And you know there's a bell. If you... Those with the business, please ring the bell. No solicitors. Curiosity shop. Well, if we hit the bell... Huh. A kid shows up. And this kid has a similar model to us. Huh. Door's locked. Well, let's try getting that kid again. Just give me a minute. Um, yeah. Okay, swing the, swing the sword of the bell. Kid comes out. Run towards the kid as fast as you possibly can. Damn it! Fuck you! Alright, if you wait long enough, the postman will arrive here, and he'll ring the bell. A 
apparently the the kid likes the postman more than us because he will run out and go to meet the postman on the bridge. At this point, there are two folks on each other to notice us walking by, so if you talk to the postman, I have a letter for you. Yeah, apparently, we talked to him twice. But we can now get inside of the back of the curiosity shop. You'll recognize that music. It's the curiosity shop music. And, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Apparently, I decided to try to be a decoration here because uh, I just kind of freeze there. Maybe I'm trying to be a ninja in disguise. Yeah, that's it. I'm a ninja. You can't see me. I'm decoration. Still didn't see me. Haha. <laughs> Alright, now you can see me, but that's only because I'm allowing you to see me. Green hat, green clothes. Andrew wrote about you in her letter. Seems you were looking for a cafe. Can you keep a secret? Yeah. I am an ninja after all. Andrew trusts you. I shall also trust you. I am Cafe. The cafe we're looking for is an adult. When I look at you, I just see a child. Yeah. I was turned into this by a strange imp wearing a mask. But I'm not hiding me because I look this way. When I was turned into this, I wanted to see the great fairy in the shrine near the north gate. But on the way, my precious mask, a wedding ceremony mask, was stolen from me by some prancing man with a grinning face. Well, you're just careless. You're like my partner. Before my wedding ceremony, I was quite happy. I was targeted because of what I had been turned into. I remember reading, I remember reading Game Facts and uh, seeing, seeing that, uh, seeing Cafe section. He was always said to be cursed by the happy mask salesman, which makes absolutely no sense. Anyway, he gives us a pendant to give to Andrew, and we're going to do that. Though you may not understand these grown-up manners, you should probably take the pendant to Andrew anyway. Keep what we just talked about a secret from everyone. Serious Youth Cafe was added to your notebook. You've been entrusted with a precious item. This was added to your notebook. Anyway, let's go to back to Stockpot Inn. Alrighty then. So, here we are at Stockpot Inn. We want to get the pendant of memories out. Everything has a title of something, doesn't, doesn't it? And I make the mistake of not talking to her before I give her the pendant. Oh, did you meet him? And we give her the pendant. Ah! It's from Cafe. Thank you very much. That face looks so happy. This was added to your notebook. If we talk to her again, I've decided to wait for him. I've made my promise. I'm fine with this. I believe him. Anyway, now we can talk to Granny once again. Because... We're going to want to skip right, right to the dawn of the second day. And if we use the this, this Song of Double Time, it'll just it'll take two plays in order to get to the time that we need to go to. Anyway, this is the story of the four giants. It's a tale from, from when the people weren't all separated. In those times, they lived together, and the four giants lived with them. On the day of the festival that celebrates the harvest, the giants said... We've chosen to guard the people while we sleep. 100 steps north, 100 steps south, 100 steps east, 100 steps west. If you have need, call us in a loud voice by declaring something such as the mountain blizzard is, is uh, freezing us or the ocean is about to swallow us. Your cries shall carry to us. Now then, there was one who was shocked and saddened by all this. A little imp. The imp was a friend of the giants since before they had created the four worlds. Why must you leave? Why do you not stay? The childhood friend felt neglected, so he spread his anger across the four worlds. Overwhelmed with misfortune, the people sang a song of prayer to the giants who live in each of the four compass directions. The giants heard their cry and responded with a roar. O oh, imp, O oh, imp, you have caused the people pain. O oh, imp, leave these four worlds, otherwise we shall tear you apart. The imp was frightened and shunned. He had lost his old friends. The imp returned to the heavens and harmony was, re was restored. They lived happily ever after. It's really a sad story if you know all the meanings behind it. Oh, really? But you listen so hard, so Mother is happy. I'll give you some candy as your prize. And you get a piece of heart. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You were praised by the old woman. This was added to your notebook. Anyway, if you talk to her again on the final day, it's been a long time since we had our picnic at Romani Ranch, hasn't it? 
Basically, she just, said, she just said what's going to happen to Andrew's family. They're going to take refuge at Romani Ranch. And look, this fat old lady must be uh, uh, Andrew's mother. Well, she's not important, so let's get out of here. Anyway. Now is a good time to, to head back towards the laundry pool and speak to Cafe. Maybe, uh, maybe he's gotten some info about his wedding mask. So, we're gonna run back towards the, towards the place and the thing with the thing and the thing. Ah, uh, man. Ah, uh, man. It's hard to record when you're, when you're all stuffed up. Door's locked. That can't be good. Cafe! Let me in! 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 Oh. Yeah, you can get in here after one o'clock in the afternoon. If you talk to this, if you talk to the curiosity shop man, I got a mess from Cafe. Now, Cafe, I've known him since he was a real kid. Real little. When we showed up all young in that little brat body, I could have sworn I was seeing things. All it took was one glance at that Keaton mask he was carrying for me to realize it was my old friend. I gave him that mask a long time ago when he was just little cafe. I'm not sure why, but I want to give this to you. And we get the Keaton mask. Accepting this keepsake doesn't make much sense to you, but you should take it anyway. Now, cafe, he says he wants you to take this to his mother. You were given express mail to Mama. This is priority mail, so hurry up and deliver it. Customer came to my shop last night. Now, Cafe sees him, and Cafe's color just changes, and he goes running after the guy. The guy's a regular, a greedy thief named Sakon. I think he's from Akana Village. You listen to his memories. This was added to your notebook. You were asked to deliver priority mail. This was added to your notebook. Uh, now, we could deliver the the letter to, to, to Mama ourselves, but... We're going to skip ahead to when we go into the post office, because it's his job after all. Oh, I want to flee, but it's not written on the schedule. To me, delivery schedule, it's the highest priority. More higher priority than this? This is high priority mail seal. This is the highest of priorities. I shall deliver it. And with that, he goes and gets dressed into his uniform, like he always does every single day. And if we follow him out... We shall go to the to the milk bar. Apparently, this is where that letter is going to be delivered. Now, this is a little. Yeah. I have a delivery for you, postmistress. Oh my, it can't be. You're still here. T -t -t Tomorrow's delivery is still scheduled. What are you saying? Did you see the sky? It's terrible. But but. Oh my. Well, what shall we do? It's from cafe. Yeah. I'm so happy to think something good would come in the end. Thank you. You flee now. That's no order. Understood. And we have to follow him back outside to see what happens to him. Now that he is free from the shackles of the of the Priority Mail Express. And he's taking his time now. Huh. Anyway, if you talk to him, I have decided to flee. It is an order from the postmaster. I am not free. I can set my own schedule. I don't need this anymore. So here, I'll let you have it. And he gives us the postman's hat. This dignified hat allows you to check the mail. Press C to, use to put it on. You save, you save a man from his troubles. Blah, 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 blah. I don't, I don't know what it said. Anyway, now we only have one more mask to collect. Uh, we're gonna have to take off that and put that up there. Now we're going to return Titan to normal. And... Yeah. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. I mean, the video, the, sh the game's almost over. You are doing a great job, ka -ching. Some item other than a letter has been deposited, ka -ching. And we get another piece of art. Uh, anyway. Now that we're done here in Clock Town... Let's fly over to Ikana Canyon, where that thief Sakon, Sakon was supposed to be. Or Sakon. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Sakon? Uh, eh. I don't know. Anyway, let's go to Ikana Canyon. 
and to think that it's almost night that it's almost nighttime. Okay, I put the stone mask on here because normally if you followed Cafe out here during the day, he will say that Sakon will be coming by to open up the door to his base. However, he does that shortly after six o'clock at night. And as you can see, it is seven o'clock at night. Shut up, Tao. Anyway, basically, Sakon's hideout is way back here. And if you remember, this was by where the that heart piece was. We no longer have access to it, but that doesn't matter. Anyway, if you run over here, this is where Cafe would be hiding to, to sneak up on Sakon. However, that's already happened, and now the door is closed behind him. However, there's a little glitch. If you keep rolling into the right crack of the door, then you can you can eventually glitch the game and uh, jump into the entrance. The way that you do that is by doing that and not doing that. That doing that. You just have to roll into the crack. And now here we are. Ah! Look, there's a mask there. It's the sun's mask. Uh-oh. That can't be good. Now I've done it! Step on that switch! What? Are you telling us what to do? It's some setup where the door stays open only while the switch is pressed. Alright, let's do it. We gotta help out Cafe. This is a relatively easy puzzle. Basically, all you have to do is press all the switches and kill all the enemies in this area in order to stop the mask from being stolen. However, you only have a limited amount of time. Basically, to solve this puzzle, you push blocks onto switches. It's pretty easy. That's no good. This isn't the switch. Go check that room. There should be some sort of mechanism. Please, there's no time. I don't like him. But is there a choice? Should we help him? Not moving ahead in the face of danger when you know it's for the better. It's just like tail. Let's go. Anyway, base the basic enemies are all the Deku Bottas. They're not really that hard to get rid of. Now this room can be a bitch. All you have to do is hit the yellow the yellow switches instead of the red ones, and it will be much easier for you to, to collect the mass. Because the yellow switches slow it down while the red switches speed it up. So, here's something basic. You press the, you put the block on the yellow switch so it'll k stay slow, and push that block onto the switch. And in this room, there's a wall, folks. We make short work of it. Now, this is the last room. So, at the very end, what do you see? A two-switch puzzle. Not that hard to figure out. And it suddenly warped to the end. I got the sun to mask back! You helped Cafe! This was added to your notebook. There's still time. I must get back to town. And now we watch Cafe run into the distance. And he's still running. And we can't see him anymore. And he's still running. Still running. Okay, there we go. Now, as you can see, we get out at midnight on on the night of the final day. So, we're going to go and meet Cafe back in Clock Town. The only problem is that because he has no horse, it's going to take him a while to get all the way back to Clock Town. So... We're just gonna wait for him in the stockpot inn where he is, where Anju is probably waiting for him. Now I'm gonna let you enjoy the music for a little while, so I'm gonna shut up here.
Except for this little part where you get a key tip, which is a magical fox that has three that has up to three tails. But you're a good child. Let, let me put you to a test. Answer me this. Pick one of three choices. How many balloons does Romani, the girl at the ranch, use, do during practice? One. How many cows are there at Romani Ranch? I had to think about this one. Three. Answer me this. Mikau is of which way? What race? Zora. I almost said what race? Who am I? Eld Elma Fudd? What are the magic words created? Tingle Tingle? Kuru Limpa. Like you could ever forget that phrase. Darmani is a Goron. Basically, you answer this guy's questions and uh, he'll give you a piece of heart. So, yeah. Interesting stuff. And now the music is back to normal. I'll leave you to it. Andrew is up here with a wedding dress that looks kind of creepy. I have decided to wait for him. I've made my promise. I'm fine with this. I believe him. She says the exact same thing that she told us earlier. Anyway, there's a treasure chest in here, but we're going to ignore it first and return time to normal. This is so much fun commentating on my old stuff. Anyway, now let's open the treasure chest, and we get a silver rupee. Fantastic. Now, while we wait for Andrew for cafe, I'm going to enjoy, like, uh, entertain Andrew with a table dance. I'll see you guys in a bit. Cafe, cafe, you're late. You're late, cafe. You're late. Come on, cafe. Andrew is waiting for you. Hurry up, cafe. You can't. But this is an inn. You can't just go into the employee's room, cafe. Cafe! 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 Oh! I I have met you before. What a familiar scent! Long, long ago. Yes, we were still young. We made a promise, didn't we? The masks of the sun and moon. We were to exchange them on the day of the carnival of time. Anjou, I'm sorry I was late. Welcome home. Rape! Bad touch, bad touch, bad touch! Okay, seriously, I shouldn't have run a type of moment. Teehee, they're lovers, but they look just like a mother and child. Let us exchange the promised masks. We have exchanged our oaths and have become a couple. You are our witnesses. Please accept this mask. You got the couple's masks. It's filled with their love. Please take refuge. We are fine here. We shall greet the morning together. The two gave you a happy mask. This was added to your notebook. Alright. That is it for this episode. In the next episode of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask... We're going to finally confront the Skull Kid. I'll see you guys in the next one.